What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good in one stuff. I got an album review to do for you and I'm going to be talking to you about the new album from the band Macabre entitled Carnival of Killers. This is released on Nuclear Blast Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they're based out of Downers Grove, Illinois. And honestly, Macabre is a band that has a sound and a style that's almost too difficult to describe. Because on one end of this band spectrum you have lyrics that delve into talking about serial killers, homicide, and murder. But on the other side of Macabre spectrum you have musical styles that are very very diverse and detailed. Because they delve into thrash, grindcore, punk, death metal, with almost sing-songy sort of lyrics. That's what gives Macabre such a very detailed sort of charm about them. And of course, over the last 30 plus years, this band has been making a lot of waves with their musical material, with their output, with their songs, with their lyrics, just overall being very important and influential. And it should also go without saying that this band has retained the same lineup ever since this band's inception. Uh, Nefarious, Dennis the Menace, and Corporate Death, respectively. When it comes to Macabre, I absolutely love a lot of what this band has put out. Most notably their early, late 80s, early 90s material. Stuff like uh, the Grim Reality EP, uh, the Night Stalker EP their full-length albums like Gloom and Sinister Slaughter. Sinister Slaughter is my favorite album of theirs. Some absolute masterpieces. And of course, that Beatles Rip album cover. I absolutely love that stuff. Of course, you also have stuff like Behind the Wall of, of, of uh, Sleep with uh, the song Slaughter Thy Poser, absolute masterpiece. And then, of course, later full-length albums like Dahmer, Murder Metal, and the last time we had heard something from them back in 2011 with Grim Scary Tales. Uh, ever since then, Macabre have still been very much active, still very much playing live shows, still very much making a difference and impact with their style of music. But now things have come full circle in, 20, in the year of 2020 when Macabre announced that they were going to be putting out a new full length and they were going to be returning to a label that helped get them to some notoriety, that label being Nuclear Blast. And now here we are with their sixth full length album entitled Carnival of Killers. It's 16 tracks and it clocks in at around 41 minutes in length. And pretty much from the minute you listen to this album, you realize that this is macabre doing what they know how to do best. Tell you stories in very quizzical, sing-songy sorts of manners, but also playing their instruments up very, very well. And of course, it's macabre doing macabre business as usual here. Uh, I love the way this album starts off with the uh, carnival music, the... That kind of intro, and then going into the song, Your Window is Open. From then on there, throughout the majority of the songs, it, it all has that, that typical sort of macabre formula. Very fast-paced drums, really, really great riffs, thunderous bass, uh, raspy guttural vocals, sing-songy sorts of parts, and I think all of them play out very, very well here. You hear it on songs like Your Window is Open, Stinky, Tea Cakes, uh, Richard Speck Grew Big Breasts. That's another really great song. And you should look up Richard Speck so you can see what the whole deal is behind his story. Because, yeah, like I said, this is a band that talks about serial killers and homicides and murders. I mean, The Night Stalker, uh, John Wayne Gacy, Edward Kemper, Ted Bundy. All the usual suspects are all talked about in great detail with this band and especially on this album. Uh, musically, it's very top-notch. It has that modern contemporary sort of feel, but it also has that macabre edge to it. The riffs are very well played, uh, very catchy. A lot of the riffs will get stuck in your head. Some great solos here and there. I think this is some very well done solo work. Uh, the bass work on here is also very good, very clear, very crystal, very concise. I love this bass tone. 
Uh, Dennis the Menace doing the drums on this album is phenomenal. He is still an amazing drummer all these decades later, and he plays his style of drumming very well here. A lot of fast blasts, a lot of great thrashy beats, uh, very... Uh, uh, good pace going throughout and very unrelenting throughout the majority of this album. And uh, when it comes to the vocals, of course, it's the typical uh, vocal interplay between Corporate Death and Nefarious. You have the sing-songy sort of vocals and then you have this these really wretched, spoken sorts of vocals. That's one thing I love. I mean, if you ever listen to an album like Sinister Slaughter, you can get a great glimpse of what the macabre vocal style is all about. And here on Macabre, you get a, another mixture of that uh, harsh vocal, sing-song sort of quality in, in storytelling. Of course, on the song Them Dry Bones, it's basically the hip bone connected to the knee bone, the knee bone connected to the whatever bone. It's That's what that song is, and it's pretty silly hearing that kind of stuff. But then on the song The Wheels on the Bug, you have a mixture of the wheels of the bus go round and round, and then you hear the the B-I-N-G-O song, but with B-U-N-D-Y. Very, very funny. But my favorite out of all of these sing-songy part stuff would have to be Stinky, because they take the slinky uh, song, and then they incorporate different sorts of lyrics about... A uh, uh, crime scene or whatever being stinky or whatever it, it's pretty entertaining but for the most part I enjoy the vocal deliveries done by Corporate Death and Nefarious on this album very wildly entertaining but overall if you're a macabre fan you're gonna feel right at home listening to this album if anything for the fact that these guys can still play their instruments and still do what they know how to do best all these decades later it's a very entertaining macabre album I definitely like this more than I did the previous couple of full lengths like Murder Metal and Grim Scary Tales I mean I still hold higher regards to stuff like Sin uh, Sinister Slaughter and uh, Dahmer is a pretty underappreciated record I would highly recommend y'all listen to those macabre records but if you're into macabre you'll enjoy Carnival of Killers a hell of a whole lot. So, if I had to think of any personal favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say Your Window is Open, uh, Stinky, uh, Tea Cakes, uh, Slaughterhouse is another really top-notch track, uh, The Lake of Fire is awesome, and uh, Corpse Violator is another fun one, too. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description box to tell you how to hold this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the Macabre Bandcamp page. You can listen to this album in its entirety, hear it for yourself, and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it by it digitally, and of course you can pick it up physically through the band themselves or through Nuclear Blast. I will link you to whatever physical copies are available in the description box. So, again, the album is Carnival of Killers by Macabre. This is released on Nuclear Blast Records. Definitely check this one out. And for a score, I'm going to give this a pretty strong 8 out of 10. It's the typical macabre formula, but these guys deliver a very fun and entertaining record, and they definitely try to make the most fun out of crazy serial killer and murder oriented sort of stuff. So, if you've happened to have heard this album, definitely let me know what you think about it, how you feel about it, and how you think it compares to previous macabre releases. Are any of you guys into macabre? Definitely let me know. I'm going to conclude, I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until next time, Army Hell out.